As we start out with a reference to Friday the 13th, the final chapter, or Friday the 13th, trademark, press start button, you've never <laughs> played this. And you've never really seen many of the movies either. Nope, so I'm perfect for this. <laughs> oh, that doesn't... Well, you don't necessarily have to see many of the movies, although it does cover a few of the Jasons. We have Ted White and Jason there getting knife to the eye. You have uh, on the cover Kane Hodder, Jason. This came out in 1989, right before Jason, a few months before Jason takes Manhattan. And there's camp counselors in this game and kids, so I guess it's also part six CJ Graham, Jason. I played this game uh, quite a bit when I was younger. Mm -hmm. I actually really, really like this game. <laughs> 1988. 89. Well, I don't know if I necessarily played it in 1989, but that's when it came out. And I, I had it when I was a kid at one point. Probably got it in like 91 or 92. My parents would get you that. My mom did, yeah. Your mom would, yeah. <laughs> yeah, abs absolutely. Well, it's Halloween season, so we're going to play a few like horror movie related games. We're going to start out here with the Friday the 13th NES game. Uh, oh, Copyright 1988. Although said. it did, well, it did come out. I thought it came out in like, I think it came out in like February of '89, but and I'm sure it took at least a couple of years to do this game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll start out with here's the. This is the map. Basically, you have to save all of the children, or else they'll die. So you're and the all of that's on your hands. Yeah, you're the camp counselors. Use the torch to light the fireplaces, or you're doomed! There you go, honey. Okay, this whole video is just gonna be people saying- You've already gotten hit by a zombie! Oh. See, really, there's- so are, There's are, actually- the Well, oh an alarm is gonna go off, and then you have to hit start, and that'll tell you what cabin Jason is in. You can- You kill the zombies by throwing rocks at them. And if- it, the, the rocks kind of have an arc. So you'll have to crouch down. It, it's easier yeah, to crouch like down. Like yeah, it's easier to crouch <laughs> down to kill them. Jason is really the least. Make sure you grab that for the fireplace because. What? Oh well, it's too late now. Now you'll what never be idiot. able to see in any of the cabins. Uh, oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> That's purple, Jason. I have an action figure of this around here somewhere. Jason is at his most fabulous in this game. Right now, you're just going around killing zombies. Again, like I said, yeah, Jason's a bummer to have on your, uh, to have at your <laughs> camp. But really, the zombies are actually a bit more threatening. There's, there's more of them, and Jason really just wants to kill counselors, whereas zombies will eat just about anybody. Oh, I see you didn't want to go in there. I'm not. Because the cat, oh. Go ahead and at the door. The cabins are essentially a maze in this. You're better off getting lost in the woods what than you are getting lost in one of the cabins. Oh, hit hit start. All right, so you'll want to get to. Oh, of, of course they put it. They couldn't have put it anywhere closer to you as I'm trying to describe you this game. Of course they had to put it on one of the cabins by the lake. All right, this is the cabin that Jason is in. So I have to walk there. Yeah. So just keep going right. Do I have to kill them? No. Or, oh. What's handy? Oh, I don't think we'll read it. I don't think oh, we'll. What is we're that? We're not going to beat the games. Hit start again real quick. Okay, go up that path. Go up that path and go uh, left. So oh, I played. see me play this. Uh, hang a left. Well, it's just like giving you directions when we're driving downtown. As we go look for, <laughs> as we go look for mass murderers inside of cabins. Um, go. yes, uh, you'll want to go up the lake. Alright, I just roll over the right. Careful, the zombies like jumping out of water. No, no, the other way! The other way? Yeah. Boy. You don't want to go down there. You don't want to go down that part of the lake. Uh, how do I throw I, them? You can, you can throw rocks at them, it's just easier to dodge them. Okay, then go up in there. You want to get lost in one of the cabins. <laughs> oh, thank you. So what am I doing? This is all your fault for sending us to bed at what is clearly three in the afternoon. <laughs> Just oh. bum on around the cabin until you find Jason sitting around. Oh. oh, he'll be in there somewhere. Careful, he's gonna he's gonna box you to death. Ah! Alright, now you're gonna wanna dodge his punches because as Jason takes Manhattan shows, Jason oh. 
I couldn't even finish that sentence. That is how powerful Jason is. I couldn't get one sentence out, which was going to be a really clever reference to part eight where he punches the guy's head off. Oh, I actually saw that one. Yeah, you saw that one because I watched it for the yeah. site. <laughs> All right. I'll yeah, why don't you do it? Um, yeah, like, I actually saw that one. I've seen the first one, and uh, it was, like, the first R-rated movie I think I saw. Was the first Friday the 13th? Yeah. Um, and I, I had it on VHS, and I had it underneath my mattress because, you know, I wasn't allowed to watch, watch R-rated movies. So you just kept that next to some porn? Yep, my porn, my you're, goodie you're... drawer. <laughs> Your Playgirl magazine. Those are not <laughs> sexy. Those are just really I've, like gay looking. I've seen I've seen Slumber Party Massacre. I know that girls hide hairy chested men in magazines in their uh, under their pillows. Have Burt Reynolds. Uh, yeah, the Burt Reynolds Co Reynolds Cosmo <laughs> magazine. Um, you're saying you wouldn't have sex with Burt? I mean, no, not, I, I mean, would. I mean, not but now, but no. I would, um, but I don't know, like, just pictures like that. For me, I don't speak for all women, but, uh, I, you know. Yes, you do. <laughs> but for me personally, like, you don't really, I'm not as visual. I just use my imagination, really. Mm -hmm. I don't need, like, a magazine. I think I might have actually, oh, okay, for a second I thought I passed up the cabins. I'm too busy thinking about sexy Burt Reynolds. <laughs> um, oh. Here to hell. I'm gonna take that shadow. Um, I want you to say it like that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's either with creepy pedo counselor or Jason. Take your pick. <laughs> so I, I before I owned this game when I was a kid, I, I used to rent it a lot because. I mean, it never, it wasn't until I was older where I was like, oh, wait, a lot of people don't like that game. Oh, so no, I mean, like most LJN games, it's not really considered to be that good, but I like it because I, I grew up a huge fan of this series. So when I was a kid, you know, going to the video store to rent a Friday the 13th game, it's like, holy shit, there's a Friday the 13th game. I can go around here and fight Jason. Speaking of, where the fuck is he? Um... No, so I would play this a lot when I was a kid. I never beat the thing, but, I mean, this was at a time when, you know, usually you would rent or play a game, and, I mean, of course not all the time, but sometimes you would play them, not with the intent of beating them, like I'm gonna get to the end of this fucking game. Uh, okay, well, I don't know where Jason is. I, I'm that... <laughs> I've been playing this game so long, I'm that powerful. He's finally scared of me. All right, so Jason can just be lost. Maybe he's lost in the cabin as well. So yeah, I would play this as a kid just to kind of bum around and fight zombies and look for Jason and look for Jason in the cabins and Jason's floating mom's head in the woods. That's like, oh yeah, that happens in this game. His mom's head just flies out at you and one of the cabins or somewhere in the woods uh, that looks like it's out of Castlevania. Um, so, yeah. it. And then when I was older, it's like, oh, I guess that game got a lot of bad reviews, but I don't know. I kind of like it. You don't like it? You're not impressed? <laughs> I grew up in a different time than you did. <laughs> I, grew, I grew up in a time where this shit is fucking quality. I'm also not a gamer, so uh -huh. clearly I'm the best person to have on this. No, you are. Because um, <laughs> I'm going to be, what, the butt of the joke that I don't know how to play <laughs> you, don't know how to, you don't know how to play this 30-year-old LJN game? What a loser. I found you! <laughs> uh, otherwise, I didn't know what you were talking about. I was like, what? No, you're one of the counselors in this game. Oh, oh! I was... <laughs> I'm like, what is he talking about? <laughs> is he having a stroke again? Oh. <laughs> oh, I sure say that on video. <laughs> um, <laughs> I didn't, I didn't oh, think there's a Laura character in here, so like, what? Oh. <laughs> If you and I are in a uh, Friday the 13th movie, we are both way dead. 
Speak for yourself. Wait, I'm the one that you think I would die? Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Who would I? Who's? Who would I be like in a horror movie? The dumb one that like walks on their own, like is like I'm gonna solve this mystery and like leave the group. No. Or I mean, would I be like the one? Shit. That you would have uh the uh. You already you already want me to continue dying. At least I, I saved your life. The least you could do is, like... Oh, I saved I you from that Laura? cabin. Yeah, play as Laura. There's no Brad on here. No, you would... I would die because I am the... Uh, I would die because I'm the hilarious comic relief. What? I'm like... Yeah, I'm the hilarious... Ah! Like, I, I'm even dressed kind of like the comic book guy from part, part seven. Oh. <laughs> he does, he wants, see, this is what I mean. He wants you so dead, he is leaving the warmth and comfort of his cabin to find you and kill you. Like you. Honey, you would die because you would have the steamy sex scene in the movie. Oh, uh, so I, as soon as I climax, I'm ready murder. Or sometimes before. Yeah. All depends on what movie you're watching. Part what, what <laughs> in part two though? in, in what? Well, I mean, you know, I have no idea they got to have death scenes. They got to they got to have death scenes. They got to have sex scenes in them as well. Sometimes they happen simultaneously. In part two, where dude was on top of uh, Sandra, <laughs> and they all oh, see you ended up in the Predator game. <laughs> I saw something that looked interesting, so I walked over here. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> I'm so bad. At I wish. See, you just drove Laura right off the cliff. Yeah. I'll be the black guy. They always survive in these. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I wish I owned a game store. That way, whenever it's uh, around a Friday the 13th, I could just have the music from this game just playing on a oh. loop. Yeah. And then every employee at Game Snob killed themselves. What's your favorite Um Maybe Simon's Quest. Uh I'll just don't get to sing it for you. Uh hang on, let me wait for the uh morning sun to vanquish the horrible night. Uh, hey, uh, d d I, I'll play it for you later. You don't remember? That was our wedding song. <laughs> we marched down there. To, uh, marched? Yeah, we marched. Yes, exactly. It was we a march down. It was aisle. a military wedding. Yeah, I was going to war. We had the uh, Mormon Tabernacle Choir playing. <laughs> That'd be kind of cool, actually. You mean your brother didn't have this game? No, my brother was born in '91. And I was playing this game also, in 91. He's the most Mormon in our family. Yeah. So I, I don't think he's ever seen the Friday the 13th. We did play a lot of video games together, like Zelda and like... Uh, well, Mormons go camping, right? Yeah, they actually have this thing called a freeze-out, where you go out... <laughs> <laughs> a freeze-out? Oh, I know what that is. That's where uh, you just ignore the... You just ignore the person in school that you don't like. Oh, that bitch. Um, <laughs> you know, like, they would go out, like, during the coolest time of year, like, they'd just go That's the camping. polar bear club, honey. That's completely different. <laughs> That's where you jump butt naked into, the, into the, the icy cold water. Is that really a thing? Oh, that's a thing. I don't know if it still is, but... <laughs> especially after we as a nation became aware of significant shrinkage. <laughs> uh, was like laundry? Jumping in the laundry machine? No, I meant like shrinkage. Like Ju jumping in the laundry machine, that's what we would do after watching Beavis and Butthead do it. Of course, I'm going the wrong way. Uh, so what happens when we I don't know. I've not... Uh, you don't know, though? Like, well, I mean, I've seen gameplay of it where it shows... You, know, you uh... So the farthest I ever got in this game was, uh... I did get Jason's, uh... Health, but I got his phone number, and really, it's just ironically enough, he just wanted to get laid. <laughs> Jason was the original nice guy. That was. The <laughs> um. So. I am my always friends. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was. That's why his mom was getting revenge due to a very harsh friend zoning he got at camp. 
so uh, I once got Jason's health bar down all the way because it, it can get to a point in this game where it just stays on you fighting Jason until he kills you or you kill him. It, it, other than that, it'll once you knock him down a few bars, he'll just leave. But uh, that's exciting. He'll yeah. just leave. Oh, just shit. Sorry, I just I was busy talking and just murdered a bunch of children. <laughs> So, one time I did get his health all the way down, and it said, uh, like, oh, but Jason's back, and he's stronger than ever. Like, oh, I just spent an hour defeating him on here, I don't want to do this again. So basically, I mean, it makes perfect sense, just when you think Jason is dead, he comes back for another sequel, that's basically what the game does. Did they make another one? Like well, there's that new one that's out. The one that we um, yeah, there's the one that's the, uh, uh the, the, we played it on PlayStation. Yeah, that new Friday the 13th game. That was okay, you had to wait forever for someone else to join. I, I honestly want to play that again, because Brian and I reviewed it when the game first came out, and it still had a lot of bugs, I think, when it was released, and I think they... Well, I think that they did end up improving on a lot of things, and I think there might even be a single-player mode on it right now, so I kind of do want to play it again, because while when Brian and I reviewed it, we said, like, oh, you know, this is a good party game, but just kind of playing it on your own was like, eh, okay, whatever, but uh, now that I think there's a lot of different things about the game, I, I, I really would like to play it again to kind of give it more of a fair shade. Like, some of the reasons I didn't like besides the fact that it's, you had to wait for other people to join. I don't, I forgot what it was. There was something that I didn't like about it. I mean, it was a little glitchy, but uh, some of the glitches were hilarious. Like when we were Tommy and he was just floating like... <laughs> he was just floating like an invisible oh, corpse yeah. had stabbed him. No, like, uh, uh, so yeah, I, I wouldn't mind playing that again, honestly. I would love just, like, if they just made a series of, like, you know, uh, 12 games for all the movies. And, uh, yeah, and each game, you know, kind of coincided with which movie it was based on. Yeah, you're welcome. You know, this is all your fault. The door is like right fucking there. You can leave it. You're next to the biggest window in any one of these movies. <laughs> That's just for the camera. Um, I mean, I guess I could take him. Maybe it's his own would... fault for getting stuck in this maze. Where is he? The oh, there he is. No, right in front of the door. I'll see, the last thing that you want at Jason Camp is a bed. It'll tempt you to have sex. <laughs> the Bible. Oh, come on, this is still much easier to play than Power Punch 2. Really, I want just a series of Friday the 13th games so we can get to the third game where I can play as Shelly, and also the game will be in 3D. I'm, not I'm representing. I'm representing Richard Brooker right now on my shirt. I don't, yeah, me and you. Our first date was like you on a date with somebody with a uh, with somebody who only, who speaks in a foreign language that you only understand half the time. Yeah, we, we didn't hit it <laughs> off at all. No, not at all. Well, honestly, we the only way we communicate is uh, is on camera, because then at least I have to have some kind of personality. <laughs> <laughs> you just sit there and stare at me the whole time. Why don't you... It's up to Chrissy right now. She's the final girl, so why don't you take her? Mm -hmm. She's the final girl. She's got to survive, unless they did make a sequel to this and she dies in the first five minutes. Ah! Oh, hit pause so you can save the children. <laughs> she, she, maybe she's the pothead of the game. Yeah, 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 yeah. In which case, she is definitely gonna die. Hit pause so you know where the. Uh, oh, okay, so it's up on the lake again. So go, so go back the other way. Yeah. <laughs> go up that path. Then to the right. Oh! Uh, why is it always. But Freddy vs. Jason told me he's afraid of water! 
there. Your ass. Yep. Chrissy is notorious for just shoving rocks up her ass. She's very that's classic, Chrissy. that's classic Chrissy. It makes her very popular with the, with the uh, with the campers. Just search around for Jason so you can finally kill him. Shove an axe into his head. Oh. There you go. You got this. You got to do dodge, honey. You got to dodge the mass murderer. Honey, dodge. I could tell you, but you won't. But and you and all your friends are dead. You and your family. Your, your fa friends. You are all dead. Sarah's dead. Dave's dead. Irving's oh, no. dead. Brian's dead. <laughs> it was specifically talking to you, so I mean, I'm fine. We're, we're not, not my friend. we're not friends. We're not friends. Yeah, we, <laughs> we established that we had nothing in common on our first date. <laughs> All right, everyone. Thanks for watching. Uh, <laughs> if you want to see more, oh, that makes it more interesting. If you want to uh, see more, or uh, if you want to see some early episodes of this and Brad tries, subscribe to us on Patreon at patreoncom snob and subscribe to our channel at YouTube.com/stonedgremlinproductions. See ya. Bye.